I'm Christian Lamichka and today I present you Jeremy McComb. Hey. Jeremy, welcome. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having me. Jeremy, you're well known here in the US, but Europe might be hearing about you for the first time. So can you please introduce yourself to the European country music fans and tell them who you are and what kind of music you're playing? Absolutely, man. I'm a, uh, I'm a country artist. Grew up out in the Northwest uh, here in the uh, good old USA and uh, been in Nashville here for six years. Started off in radio doing the disc jockey thing and uh, music director. And then before you knew it, I was out on the road with Larry the Cable Guy and the Blue Collar Comedy Tour doing the comedy stuff and wrote a lot of stuff for uh, Warner Brothers and that's when I got my record deal and worked on the record and uh, you know it's kind of an edgier side of the, of the country stuff uh, uh, Paul Riddle from the Marshall Tucker Band produced the record and uh, had three singles off that Wagon Wheel and Cold and this town needs bar did really well for us so we're just releasing a brand new single called uh, Five to Midnight which I'm really excited about and just got done shooting a movie and just have a lot of great stuff going on Tell us a little bit more of, about the song. Uh, Five to Midnight's a brand new song written by uh, Travis Howard, who's had a lot of success with the Miranda Lambert uh, past records, and uh, just it, it's one of those songs. When I first heard it, man, it, it, I I just connected with it immediately, and uh, I write most of my stuff. But it was just one where it kind of hit me, and um, I don't know. It's kind of that second chance, uh, trying to figure love out song, like everybody else. Okay. So it's. Uh, you don't walk around like a typical country uh, artist. No. Yeah, the fedora's a little different and uh, curly hair, but can't do much about that. So, I, uh, <laughs> you know, my dad's a cowboy, like a real cowboy. Grew up on a ranch, cowboy hat and all. And so uh, I just never felt right about wearing one because I'm, I'm more just kind of a hillbilly country kid more than anything, you know. And I'll save the cowboy hats for the real cowboys. Well, can you tell us a little bit about your experience you made since the time you're in the music business? Yeah, you know, uh, it's been a crazy ride, you know, uh, coming into town on a tour bus with Larry the Cable Guy and uh, going from holding comedian spit cups on red carpet events to uh, to coming to Nashville and doing my own record to touring on my own and, you know, making that jump from doing uh, band tours with your band in a van to buses and, and going out and, uh, you know, doing arenas with some of the bigger acts in, in country music. So it's just been a blast and And, uh, it's one of those things, man, where I've always wanted to get over to Europe. So I, I hope to get over there and, uh, and play for some of the crowds over there. Well, there's a festival in Switzerland um, during uh, springtime. So mm -hmm. You probably have to go to. But anyway, um, I believe there are many, 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 many female music fans who like to know if you're available or not. <laughs> well, I'm not married, so... I guess that's that's a good way to put it. So, but we are now smart and not share your number, or? <laughs> <laughs> I keep it a secret. I'm uh, I'm 30, just turned 30. Okay. So, uh, well, but they can meet you on MySpace or Facebook. Yeah, Facebook is and uh, is uh, Facebook.com and it's Macomb Over, which is kind of one of my favorite things. But uh, or you can just go to JeremyMacomb.com. Okay. So, are you tweeting too? Yeah, I do the Twitter thing. I, a couple years ago, I really didn't know what the Twitter thing was, so I had a 14-year-old girl have to show me how to use it but uh, I'm getting pretty good at it <laughs> by the way what did you do okay well you you were with uh, this cable guy on the road yeah and um, I believe he's crazy he's I insane. met him one time um, so how it is Any good road stories? Oh, man, we've got a ton of them. Uh, I remember we were out doing Blue Collar 2, the second Blue Collar movie in Denver, Colorado. And um, we had a bunch of uh, pop bottles on the bus, you know, like Diet Coke bottles. Yeah. And, um, and uh, one was full on the table, so I put it back in the fridge. I was cleaning stuff up for after the... Uh, and Bill Ingvall, part of the uh, crew, comes onto the bus and was like, man, I'm, d I'm dying, I need something to drink. And I said, well, just grab a Diet Coke out of the fridge. And he grabbed it and he opened it and he took a drink and he spit it everywhere because <laughs> it was cable guys chew spit oops that i thought was a full diet coke <laughs> <laughs> so uh that was interesting we got a lot of those stories so if you see country music you make a 500 uh mile circle around nashville that's country music yeah if you go more f to new york or somewhere else um can you tell us something about the difference there Because country music is there, not so big as it is here in the South. Yeah, you know, I think it's one of those things that um, a lot of people think that there aren't country music fans there because there isn't country radio, which isn't true. I mean, Garth Brooks had a million people in Central Park. And the thing where I really saw that was when I was touring with Cable Guy and guys like Montgomery Gentry and going out with Sugarland, doing a show in New York with Sugarland that I did. Um, 
it was sold out. It was tons of people. And so um, just because maybe country radio isn't as prevalent there, the fans are still there. Country fans are everywhere. Europe, yep. uh, you know, Japan, Korea. And uh, anywhere you go, you'll find people that really love country music. And I think it's because it tells the story of, um, you know, everyday working folks, people out there that are working hard. What do you think where you will be in 10 years? Man, uh, hopefully I'm still in here talking to you. I hope, uh, I hope that everybody here in Nashville still have me. And uh, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't really know. I think that um, as long as I can make records and continue to tour and get out there and meet people, and uh, and get to do this for a living, every day is a blessing. So uh, uh, hopefully I'll, I'll have another year of doing this, and then after that we'll hope for another year. Cool. So. Did we forget to talk about anything? Um, you know, the only thing that I've really uh, been really excited about, we haven't been able to talk about it much, but um, uh, finally this morning, actually, we found out. I shot a movie up in New York City with an associate producer from MTV. It's a, it's actually a series called Big Country Blues, which they have a website, bigcountryblues.com. And um, we just got, we just won uh, Best New Drama at the first film festival that we put in the uh, I believe it's the IQF film festival out in Hollywood California and we just won uh, best new drama in that plus we've got the series coming out here soon so I'm really 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 excited about uh, shooting the movie and, and getting a chance to kind of show a different side of what I do so thanks for the time sharing us with us and hope to see you next time I appreciate it, guys thanks for coming welcome to Nashville <laughs>